Hi, I'm Mandy from Stepping Out Vintage, and today I want to show you my erstwhile collection. I became a brooch collector after my friend Singh gave me a beautiful brooch, and I quickly became addicted. So here, this is not my complete collection, but maybe about 80% of my collection, and some of my favorites. So this is the original brooch that Singh gave me before we went on the Queen Mary 2. So that is a classic Art Deco ship from their Art Deco collection. And I've got all sorts of favorites on here. Um, some of them are from an artist from Australia named Pete Cromer. And these cockatoos here are some of the ones from him, for example, and a few of the others. And he does wonderful designs that are a little bit of a mix of contemporary but also classic and everything is very whimsical as you can tell so it's something that I just really like as I mix vintage influence with modern touches. So Erstwilder is a company from Australia and you would never have guessed but for whatever reason brooches are really big in Australia. There are many companies doing beautiful designs, also companies like Deer Arrow and Tangerine Menagerie, so lots of companies. Um, but I'm really a fan of Erstwilder. I fell in love with those and so far they're still my favorite. I also always keep the box. So if you decide to get Erstwilder, make sure you keep the box. These are collectible items. And some of them, if you ever do want to part with them or trade, there's a big trading community online in Facebook groups, but it's important you always have the box. And some of these do get to be quite valuable. You might someday find you need the money and need to sell them. Some of these go for hundreds of dollars on eBay. If you wanna be nicer, you can trade at a more reasonable cost within the communities, in the Facebook groups. Sometimes the boxes have commemorative uh, boxes that mark the artist. So this is the Pete Cromer box and this is the um, Kitschy Witch box from when they did collections together. So Erzwelder also makes these collar clips. This is an example and they're two identical ones in this case with little brooch bags on the back. And you can put those if you were wearing like a Peter Pan collar or a shirt or any anything really, you could put those on. But what I realized, I did not have this idea, someone else did, is you can take two brooches and turn them into collar clips. And I particularly loved how this looked. Someone did it with foxes, because there's the Pete Cromer small, mini, and regular size fox. These are cats from the Valentine's collection in 2020. And you can turn these kind of into tech collar clips, which I love. You can also get a brooch converter to turn your brooch into a necklace, which is very handy. There are actually two attachments. I have this one right now. I don't know where the other one is, but you can either hang it if it's a vertical pin on the back, or there's another one if you have a horizontal pin. So this one, I'm gonna show you. This comes just like this and with the other piece as well. And you can take a brooch. I'm gonna take one of my favorites. This is a Pete Cromer piece of. And this one happens to have two different pins so that it doesn't flop around, which is really great. And this one I can convert to wear as a necklace. So. I would like to offer a couple of tips and tricks with these brooches. Sometimes, heaven forbid, a brooch might fall off. They do have a pretty good clasp on the back, but sometimes they do slip for whatever reason, this might rotate and slip off. So there is a trick that people have talked about that I'm very grateful for, and that is to get one of these teeny tiny little earring backs, and you can use it to secure your brooch so that if the clasp opens, it won't fall off. So I'm gonna show you how that works. And also you can get a magna pin. This is a converter to put on the back of your brooch to turn it into a magnet so that you can protect your clothing. So you simply put your clothing in between and you can attach your brooch. So if I've piqued your curiosity, make sure to check out erstweller.com as well as their Instagram. And I really recommend joining the Facebook groups as well. 